On Tuesday, May 21st, all kinds of Hiller sports action took place, including Hiller softball versus Dedham. Before the game, they celebrated senior night. Bottom of the first, the Hillers struck first. He's taken it all this season. And this is up the middle, that'll get through. Emily Whalen comes around to score. It's 1-0 Hillers. Katie Holly does it again, an RBI single. Katie Holly makes it one to nothing Hopkinton. It remained that way until the top of the fifth. Skirapa up the left side, that's a fair ball. Here comes Gonzalez to score, and she will. It's a one to one game. An RBI double for Skirapa. This is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, pulls Otzi off the bag, everybody's safe. Well, McIntyre looked to her left. You had Skirapa standing right next to her. She could have laid the tag on her. Big error there on McIntyre. Three runs would score for Dedham to make it three to one at the time. That's how it remained until Jillian Cedia came up to the plate in the bottom of the sixth. And she'll get a piece of this one to the wall, and see you later! Jillian Cedia does it again! Her fifth home run of the season, and she absolutely tattooed that ball. It is a three to two ball game. Cedia crushes a home run to make it a 3-2 game, but Dedham would hang on for the win. The Hillers fell to 12-4 with the loss. Dedham improved to 12-5. Hillers baseball took on Dedham as well. Drew Rankatori at the plate in the bottom of the first with the Hillers trailing 2-0. It's a fly ball deep right field. There goes the right field, and it is gone. A three-run bomb by Drew Rankatori. James Devonick went back to the fence, looked up, and it was gone. So that two-run lead by Dedham has been erased by a big fly. Rankatori's homer made it a 3-2 Hiller's lead. Dedham would play a run the very next inning to tie things up at three apiece. And then later on, Dedham played three more runs in the fourth and three more in the fifth to go ahead nine to three. Hiller is trailing nine to three. Ben McKenzie came up to the plate with two on and two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Ben got his eyes on. That's it. Out to left center field and that ball is gone. Out of the yard in the parking lot for a three run jack. Ben McKenzie. That's three to the board. It's nine to six. That was a no doubt about her. That's the way he hits him for his fourth home run of the year. A three-run homer made it a 9-6 game, but the Hillers fall to Dedham 9-7. Hopkinton falls to 11-4, while Dedham clinched a piece of the TVL small title and improved to 13-3 overall. Hillers boys lacrosse celebrated their senior night and took on Dedham. Hopkinton struck early and often. Possession. Dan Norton's done a tremendous job implementing his new strategy on both sides of the ball. And guess what? We have another goal. Dylan McBride striking for number two. Seconds. Good action to start this game here. And another goal. Steven Maffiori makes it three to nothing. the net now. Out in front, McBride with a nice goal. 
Another assist for Luke McDonald, and Dylan McBride has the hat trick, his third goal of the game. 5 1 Hopkinson. That was just a nice shot. Swatted away and picked up quickly by Connors. That was Justin Kelly for Denham hitting it with the back of his net. But then Connors was just there for the quick scoop. Now out in front, looking for a shot. And is that in? Yes, it is. Jacob Connors there with a goal. Well, Connors waiting in front. Wide open gap in front of him. Takes advantage, makes it 6-1 to one with 11.3 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. It was a 6-1 to one Hiller's lead after the first quarter, but right towards the end of the first quarter, Andrew Paleko accomplished something incredible. With just over 11 seconds left, Paleko wins yet another faceoff and then is swarmed by his teammates because that was his 1,000th faceoff win. The Hillers went on to take down Dedham by a final of 17 to 6. With the win, the playoff bound Hillers improved to 11 and 5 overall, while Dedham fell to 5 and 12. Here's a look at the senior night festivities that took place after the game. Corey Bannon greeting his family and handing his mother some flowers. There's Dan Sage. There's Zach Frank with his family. Mr. 1000 plus faceoff winner, Andrew Paleko. Dylan McBride now. And last but certainly not least, we'll have Jack Sloan. Hiller's Boys Tennis also celebrated senior night before a sweep over Dedham. Hopkinton Boys Tennis is 13-0 on the season, just cruising through the regular season schedule and right into the postseason.